George St. Pierre's got a pretty good jab. We'll see if he can put it to good use. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, good block there. Nice shot there by the champ. Wow, huge head kick. He's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and he pushed him to come back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Lands the kick to the body there. Duplessis going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Duplessis gets tattooed by that straight punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, early action here. We'll see how soon George St. Pierre can get one of his patented takedowns, but it all works off of the jab that you saw right there. It does. I mean, he does. He has a beautiful jab, and I've seen him do so much damage with that jab. You know, I, I keep calling back to fights, but I remember him and Josh Koscheck. The moment the fight started, bang, jab, broken orbital bone. If Koscheck in Canada fights over. George St. Pierre does not throw a range-finding jab. He throws that jab with malicious intent. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Change. Nice trick to get the takedown. All right, side control now. Mm, that was nice. Duplessis gets back up. Great body kick there. Nice punch by Duplessis. to go. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Nice punch to the head. Jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Oh! And there it is! Oh! Woo!
And here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world, George Rush St. Oh, well, you sort of had an inkling that this might be the way it went down, given our fighter meeting. George St. Pierre prioritized the finish, and it was clean tonight by way of the KO. He spoke about finishing his opponent, and I don't know if I believed him. But tonight,